Can you write here with Echo Essiman? Um, do I pronounce that right? Yeah, yeah. Man. Ah, cool. cool. <laughs> I'm crap at pronouncing the name. So my list was really prominent, so I can't really pronounce it properly. But anyway, after interesting first couple of days, the first bit back and forth between you and um, uh, uh, yeah. um, Scar. Ah, yeah. You know, obviously, EA is way too tight. Just write in the right way. Just write what you're saying. Yeah, it's just hard. It's that shut down. Point someone out. I mean, yeah, like, media wise, yeah, a little bit of hype, but I'm, like, if you're a champion and someone ranked number 26 is calling you out, you're not gonna be, you're not gonna get up off your seat, get up in the morning and be like, yeah, I'm gonna call that guy out. <laughs> like, don't, don't, it don't work like that. So, obviously, I said to him when he was doing all the call outs, work your way up and then we can get it cracking. And he did. So, respectfully, yeah, we're getting it cracking and he's, he just wants to pipe up about it, but it is what it is because I'm the champion. People are going to do that, and I'll do my job and I'll shut them, shut them up. Yeah, I'm saying, yeah, we do. If you don't get to be here, I'm trying to go because he's a good fight. Good fight, I'm trying to go. Actually, I thought he would go, but I don't know what he's going to do so far, but like, not to be, but you've defeated him with a big good fight, you know. Um, do you think it's the best fight you fought so far? One of, um, I think the best fight I fought would be Tyrone Nurse, who was a former British champion. He was awkward, switch it, stylish, everything. Yeah, yeah. He, you know what? Um, over, like, I'm not, I'm not taking away from Chris because um, Chris's fight was a different kind of a fight from obviously the other opponents I've had, and I respect, I respect him. There's a needle between me and him, but I do respect him kind of thing, as a fighter and outside of it because I knew him from GB so we have that like, history and it wasn't like a bad history or, it, or anything so like the respect is there um, but with um, Tyrone Nurse he just had that experience from round one as soon as the 30 seconds into the match I was like boy I can feel this experience <laughs> like yo um, and so that was one of like like one of my my favorite matches um, Regardless of the outcome, it was just the experience, sharing the ring with him, the things that I went through in that match, and obviously coming away with the W as well. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the future's bright, man. Um, obviously, I'm not looking past Saturday. But I know on the trajectory that I'm on, like it's my turn to make my mark, as people would say, on the big fishes. So yeah. I'm gonna catch me a big reel. That's, that's, what, that's what it's about. It's, yeah. Like, that's what you get in sport for. Water, yeah. So to fight the best and be the best in it. So yeah, man. Obviously, you're part of your good division now. Quite a good division. Very hot. Um, yeah, welterweight well, 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 is such a it's such a crazy division because a lot of people pass through the weight that like they if they start low they move into welterweight or some people like my opponent they're high and they want to come down into welterweight yeah. it's just one of them weights so it, it's always yeah. going to be crazy so to be a champion of any sort at welterweight you've got to, you've got to earn it. Yeah, exactly. how do you feel about um, recently it's been email being an email champion and all that everyone just people like. <laughs> You can't, you can't the, you know, no, 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 you can't control that. And you know what? Um, anyone that receives a championship that way, you, they still be buzzing. Like you can't. Like you're going into the next match, the world champion. Yes, you have to prove it by winning it and defending it rightfully and whatnot. And but at the end of the day, boy, there's other boxers out there that don't get that opportunity. So you, you'll be buzzing regardless because he's been put. Like he's been. He's been wanting to be aligned to that, so now he is that. Um, unfortunately, when I come along, he's going to be one of my reels, one of my scalps. Yeah, man, obviously, obviously, Chris Ennis is a really good fighter. Um, I think you two fighting would be a great fight for him. Um, Styles match really well. Yeah, I think, I think they would. I think he's like, kind of like Josh Kelly when Josh Kelly was coming up, of, but on the American side, like the people that he's for, even. Crawford had mentioned he's like that he hadn't really fought people with experience experience he's fought people who are just kind of mesmerized and they they kind of switch off when he's doing all his trick boxing yeah. but when you come against someone experienced who knows what they're doing that's like okay yeah do do that but further down the line it's not going to work it's a bit yeah. different so yeah, different. So, yeah. Um, we're going to set the light you know. 
don't want to give it too much, give away too much. But what's your prediction? What, how do you think it's going to fight in the first um, It's going to be a very physical, brutal kind of match, spiteful match. Is that, is that how you train? Like you train, you train to have to be like to be spiteful. To be there's extra spite, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the way he fights, he, he can't, you can't, you can't fight him a certain way. You can only, you have to dismantle that smoke and just, yeah. So, come, come Saturday night, spiteful, brutal, vindictive, echo man. Yeah, well, for the um, W, for the win, yeah. Also, but I mean, before, before I finish out, where are you finding your social media? Like, somewhere? On X, it's E E underscore engine. On Instagram, it's Echo dot S U M A N. So E K O W full stop E W -S, S U M A N. And everywhere else, just search Echo S U M A N. Yeah, thank you.